Hey everyone, Case of Man Rules here. This video tutorial is a comparison of two different softwares that are both somewhat similar. Uh, it's between the two dock softwares that are most popular right now. We have Rocket Dock and the Nexus Dock. Um, Nexus Dock is fairly new, Rocket Dock's been around for a while. And um, I'm going to show you guys all the features of these two docks. I've used Rocket Dock many times in the past, never used Nexus before. But I'm going to show you all the features that they have and see how they stack up against each other. So first I'm going to show you where you can get these two products if you want to try them out yourself. Uh, the first one is available at RocketDock.com. That's RocketDock, um, obviously. And um, the second one is available at WinStep. It's um, WinStep.net. Um, I'm actually at the themes page right now. Hold on. Uh, winstep.net um, slash default ASP blah, blah blah link will be in the description so don't worry about it um, so you can go and check those two out and just click download on both of the pages download the installers and you'll get the two like this Nexus one will be in a zip file but you can just extract the um, executable and once you install them both you will in a result have these two things right here uh, so first thing that I want to go through is the um, just first of all right off the install what it's like um, right off the install I've changed both of the, of the themes on these uh, just to show you what the leopard one looks like because these are the leopards for both the leopard one comes stock for Nexus but doesn't come stock for um, rocket dock and uh, just you know most people like to use these uh, docks to pretend that they have a Mac when they have a PC so I just, you know, it's a lot easier for those kind of people uh, to use the Leopard theme with Nexus than it is for Rocket Dock. So there's plus one for Nexus. Um, Alright, so what it comes with originally is, um, let me set both these themes right here. That's the first one for Nexus and for Rocket Dock. The original one is crystalxp.net. So these are the two that come with it originally, the two themes. Um, I personally think the Nexus one is very, very bulky, but it did say arrow low res, so that's probably why. Um, and this Crystal XP one I think is rather pretty. Um, not my personal pick, I'd pick other ones, but it's not bad. So there you go, that's right off the install of the themes that you'll get. Obviously they're configurable though, so it's not a big deal. Um, right off the install, we have several um, icons. I've not altered these at all. Something I like about Nexus is that it comes um, already knowing what your default email and default internet is. I use Postbox for my email and Firefox for my internet, and it detected both of those and set them up immediately. Another thing I like right off the install for Nexus is the Capture Desktop button. I click that, and it automatically saves a screenshot of my desktop right here on the desktop. So that makes it very useful. Um, also comes with a RAM meter and a CPU meter. Weather, um, I don't believe is my current area though. I really have no idea. It might know. No, it's set for you in New York. I'm not in New York. But so you'll have to configure that yourself. But other than that, it's a really good start off uh, for Nexus. Down here, there's not as much usability in Rocket Dock to be honest. Right off the start, it has links to your normal folders, which you can get to easily from your start menu. Um, control panel is kind of nice, and then it has three, no, just two different things supporting their site. For Nexus, there's only one, which I can understand, both of which are removable, so again, not a big deal. Um, something I like about Rocket Dock, I personally named my um, recycle bin the graveyard as a joke, but uh, it recognizes it with Rocket Dock, but here it gives it its own name. So something I like about um, Rocket Dock is it uses the names of everything that's set in there, so if you've altered them, you can change them. Something I forgot to mention about Nexus, which I find rather odd, is the Start Menu Docklet. You click on that, and it opens up your Start Menu, so you can go to it from there. I think that's very useful for people who are, again, trying to use this as a replacement uh, to, like, try to pretend like they have a Mac when they have a PC. So, very useful for that if you need to access your Start Menu but don't want to have it up. It doesn't look as realistic if you're trying to be like a Mac. Next, let's go through the settings. Uh, for Rocket Dock, we have icon settings, which is very nice just for the settings of the icons of each thing. Well supported there. Um, for the dock settings, we have several different um, 
several different settings. You can change the icon quality and stuff like that from there. Position, uh, like, uh, edge offset, which I've done to keep it off the start menu for Windows 7. Um, also centering, you can waver it to one side or the other. Um, which is pretty nice there if you have some sort of different setup or something like that. Going up to Nexus, let's go to our settings here. I personally think that it's not as easy to navigate um, through Nexus's uh, right-click menu. I find it rather annoying, actually, but um, that's just me. Here we are in the Preferences menu for them. There's much more settings, I have to say, for Nexus, though. Uh, sounds come with it that you can't hear, but uh, I actually think the sounds are also kind of lame, but there are other ones that you can change to that I haven't tried, so worth trying those out. Different ways to set up tasks and stuff like that, very useful. Several themes that come with it originally, like I said. Backgrounds, I guess. Well, that's cool, I didn't even know those were there. Anyway, that's neat, so some more options for you. Um, effects, you have, uh, when you go over at Magnify, you can also have, like, flat magnify. I, I, I don't I haven't hit apply, but I guess I can real quick to show you what that is. I don't even know what it is. Oh, see, it does that. It zooms it in. See, I think that's kind of ugly, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Appearance, you can change how big you want them to be when you go over them, how big you want them to magnify to, and also position is behavior like usual. Other than that, it's pretty much the same between the two. I, Like I said, I like the right-click menu better for Rocket Dock than I do Nexus, because everything seems more accessible. Auto-hide right there, lock items is right there, you want to change the screen position. If you don't want it at the bottom, you want it at the left, say. It automatically puts it at the left. Stuff like that, and I think that it's somewhat annoying for this one, because you have to go over here and click on theme and click. It's not a mouse over either, it's a click, which I, it'll probably develop in time. And I should say that Nexus is still in beta, so that's important to point out. So overall, both very good dock programs if you're into that kind of thing. I used to use Rocket Dock a lot, not into that so much anymore, not really necessary with Windows 7. But both very good. Uh, I think if you want to be a Mac wannabe, I don't mean that in a derogatory term, uh, then I think it would be much better for you to use Nexus probably. But I think if you're more of a customizer, want it to be more like how you like it, I think you'll find it more useful to use Rocket Dock if you want to go to extreme personalization. Even though this has more options, I think this is just more user-friendly, user that sort of thing, but doesn't have as much visual sort of uh, eye candy. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching this Case of Man Rules tutorial on a comparison between the Nexus Dock and the Rocket Dock. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.